Hi and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're doing chili king prawn pasta. So first you want to heat a pan with some oil, and then the ingredients. So you want one white onion, small diced. I've got one large red chili pepper, again small diced, um, but you can just use a red pepper if you don't want it too spicy. Some fresh garlic, but you can use chopped or lazy garlic if you like. Uh, some small mushrooms and some spinach leaves. So yeah, so that all just goes straight in the pan. And then you just want to cook that out for a little minute, um, about a minute or two, just so that the onions and the peppers have started to colour and the mushrooms of course um, and then we can get ready to start making the base for our sauce so that's nicely cooked add your large king prawns now you can put king prawns in or you can get the smaller pill prawns doesn't matter um, or if you don't like fish you don't have to put prawns in at all so throw them around for a bit Now, you want to cook them out for a little while. Um, these are already sort of pre-cooked anyway, so that's not so bad. But if you do get the uncooked ones, just make sure that they have started to turn uh, a different colour. Because um, uncooked ones come in like a blue colour, and then obviously they start going a pinky white colour when they're cooked. So, right. Now we add our seasoning. Some pepper. salt and I've got these Italian style tomato and herbs again Excellent. Right. stir that round then we add a 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes Once that's all mixed in, what we then want to do is just let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Like I said, just to make sure that everything's cooked through, especially if you've used um, raw prawns. Um, and obviously just to enhance the flavour. Um, so yeah, while that's simmering, we will turn that down low. And while that's doing that, um, you want to get a pan of boiling water um, ready for your pasta. Um, now again, while it's boiling, just put a little bit of oil in just so that it helps the pasta not stick to each other when it's cooking. Um, and yeah, we will uh, come back once. That's... Right, now the water's nicely boiled, you want about 250 grams of pasta. Let that cook anywhere from sort of like 12 to 15 minutes depending on um, how much you actually put in. Obviously if you put less it will take quicker. If you put more in then it will take longer because there will be more water to boil. Um, but yeah, anywhere from sort of like 12 to 15 minutes. Um, and then once it's cooked we can then add it in with our prawns. So it's been about 12 minutes so it's time to salt the pasta. Now with the pasta uh, you don't want to overcook it because it will go really horrible. Um, but also you don't want to undercook it. Um, so it's a very fine line. So just check the pasta. Um, just pick a piece up, taste it. If it's still a little bit chewy and hard, just keep the rest on the heat. If obviously you taste it and it's soft, but there is still a little bit of firmness, just take them off because you don't want to again overcook it and then you can just throw it in the sauce and cook it for a little bit longer in the sauce and that will help soften the pasta. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We've drained the pasta. We then go back to our sauce, throw that in, give that a nice stir around, and that is it. A nice simple pasta dish um, with quite uh, little ingredients to be fair, um, and like I said, you can add and uh, take away as many ingredients as you want, um, but that is it. That is now ready to serve. 
um, and probably nice to uh, serve alongside a nice cold glass of white wine. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is the pasta all ready to go. So it's just time to dish up and enjoy. That's the end of the video. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Laters. <laughs>